Good morning. I'm Pastor Tully and I'm here in my backyard for my Wednesday morning message. Don't know if you can see that at home, but I got some drool for my daughter, Eleanor, on my high-tech graphics. Uh, technically, this week is spring break for those of you in Rockdale County Schools. Uh, so I thought uh, you might be missing your classrooms and that we should do some vocabulary drills this morning. I have four H words for you that are quite seasonal. First is Holy Week. Holy Week, that's this week. Uh, that's the week between Palm Sunday and Easter. It's a time of penitence and remembrance for Christians. Uh, it's when we celebrate Monday Thursday, which is tomorrow, and that includes the Lord's Supper, uh, the betrayal and arrest of Jesus and his trial. Uh, and then we get to Good Friday, where we remember the crucifixion and death and burial of Jesus. Uh, for those of the Jewish faith, Saturday is the time of Passover, when they remember how the angel of the Lord passed over their houses at the end of the ten plagues in Egypt from the book of Exodus. My second word is Hosanna. That was from last Sunday, Palm Sunday. We shouted Hosanna and waved our palm leaves as Jesus entered into the city of Jerusalem. The word Hosanna quite literally means save us. And you can trace the roots from that roots of that word all the way back from English to Latin to Greek and to Hebrew. Uh, and, and in Hebrew, the word was pronounced Hoshana or Hoshiana, uh, and it was a prayer. It was save us, we pray. It appears six times in the Bible, all in the Gospels associated with the first Palm Sunday story. Now that word is not to be confused with the word hooray. Hooray is an exclamation of joy and excitement. Uh, this word has a lot of different forms and spellings. Hoorah, hurrah, and of course the longer form, hip hip hooray, that you don't hear very often. Now all of those words uh, come from the old English word huzzah, and there are similar words in many European languages. A fun little fact, each branch of the military has their own version of a word that sounds a lot like hooray, and they each have different meanings. Uh, if you know anyone who served, you should ask them about it. Which brings me to our last word, hallelujah. This Sunday Easter, we will sing hallelujah. The history of the word hallelujah also goes back to the Greek and Hebrew languages of the Bible. Uh, hallelujah is actually a two-word phrase. Uh, the first part, hallelu, uh, means to sing praise or joyous boasting. Uh, and the second part, yah, it's a shortened version of the word Yahweh, uh, which is God's name in the Hebrew language. Uh, now, too often in our excitement of Palm Sunday, we go uh, directly from Hosanna to Hallelujah, and we miss the Holy Week in between. Holy Week is not really a time for hooray. It's not really a time for shouting. It's a time when we wrestle with our faith, when we are tested and when the false idols of what we want God to be must die, and the reality of who God is rises from the grave. God is love, and God loves you, and God loves all. Amen.